Two-step authentication, it's very important and it makes it much harder for bad guys to access your accounts. Here is how to enable two-step authentication with your Apple ID. The basic idea of two-step is that instead of a username and password like normal, you now also have a code that is sent to your phone number, and this means that if you don't have your phone or a trusted device, you just can't get in. So even if somebody knows your password, it won't really help because they also need that code. To set it up, all you have to do is sign into your Apple ID, and once you're there, you go to the security section, and under two-step verification, you select get started. You then may have to enter your security question answers, and after that, you'll be taken through the steps on how to enable two-step. After that, you're going to need to enter a phone number that you trust, and this is probably going to be your own, and then a verification code is going to be sent over SMS, and you will have to enter that code to verify that you have this device with you. Once verified, you can also set up other devices, so if you have an iPad or an iPod or just someone else that you want to be able to access the account, you can add them here, so even if you don't have your phone with that specific number with you, you can still get into your account with other devices. Now lastly is a very important step. This is your recovery key. If you ever lose your trusted device or forget your password, the recovery key is the only way to get back into your account. It's very important that you either print this out or write it down and keep it in a very safe place. Without this, if something goes wrong, you're just out of luck. Now finally, all you have to do is agree to the conditions and enable two-step verification. From now on, whenever you log into your Apple ID, you will need to have a trusted device with you so that you can receive a four-digit code along with your username and password. And that's it. It's very easy to do, but it makes your account much more secure, and it's definitely worth looking at for all your accounts that you have. For more details on this, be sure to check out MacRumors.com, and if you want to see more videos, hit subscribe so that you can see when they're out. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Matt with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.